Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. We're continuing our discussion on Motion 5.2 enhancements and updates. And Mark is going to show us something different about the title tool and that we're not going to do a 3D title, we're going to do a 3D symbol. Yeah, so this, this gets really cool because once you start thinking about all this 3D text-based possibilities, it all has to do with fonts. But you don't have to use letters as fonts. There's ah, a so, lot of other things you can do. It's, right, it's so really text isn't the only thing, like a T or yeah. an S. It's like, I can yeah. map it to anything that's it, it doesn't a have to be words. So, so let's look at where we right. can get some cool symbols. Mm -hmm. I just want to show you several different sources for really cool symbols to use in your motion graphics projects. You mean that symbolically? I mean it symbolically. Right. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is click T for the text tool here in Motion. Or just click on the text tool right here. Click, and before I type anything, I'm going to go to the Edit menu and go down to Special Characters, and there's a little keyboard shortcut for it, Control Command Space. I'll select that, and this palette shows up directly under the uh, little cursor there, and you see a lot of these kind of uh, emoji symbols, and you can't use any of these. Any of these color things you can't use, so don't get too excited, because you'll be like, oh, I can make those 3D, and you can't make those 3D, but if we keep going, any of these things, you can make 3D um, in this next set of categories here. So there's, you can see the little tooltip there, signs and standard symbols, and then there's some symbols here. There's bullets and stars. There's just many, many different symbols that you can choose, and any one of these can be made into a 3G object. So for instance, I'll select this club, okay? So I'll click on it, and it automatically gets added to my project. I'll press Escape to get out of the text tool, F4 to go to the text inspector. I'll go to the format pane, and the first thing I'll do is make that sucker big. Big club. Big club, right. Now, I can treat it like any other text. So what because I can do... it's a font. It's a font, right. So what I'm going to do in the Appearance tab of the Text Inspector, I'll enable 3D text. I'll increase the depth. I'll also add a camera to the scene just to make it easy to move around. And then I'll go back to that text and apply some kind of preset. I don't care right now because my point is not to show you, uh, you know, styles and materials and things, but just check this out. I now have this really cool 3D club if I deselect, it'll be a little easier to rotate around, that I can use in any kind of uh, animation. I can spin a camera around it. I can throw it in a composite into a 3D scene. But it's any symbol can be made 3D. And of course, you can apply multiple materials to the symbol as well. So if I were to select it again and switch the material from single to multiple, I could take the front and change the front maybe to my old favorite car, car paint. paint. Yeah, just so we can see it with multiple materials applied. Look at that. Okay, That's so gorgeous. Pretty nice, right? Yeah. Now that that little um, special characters palette's a little hard to work with. I find so what I like to do is go to System Preferences, and then go to the keyboard, and there's an option under Keyboard to show Keyboard and Character Viewer in the menu bar, and you see I have that checked. So what I've done is let's select the text again and double click to select it up. In the top menu, there's my character viewer. I'll choose to show it. And the nice thing about this is it gives a much bigger window for viewing all of these different symbols, right? This is a lot easier to take a look at, especially for old guys like us. So you can quickly go through here and choose any type of symbol that you want to uh, replace the current symbol. Look at that. And there it is. And you can add, the nice thing about being in this one, it doesn't just add one and close. You can add multiple symbols and just by clicking. And it maps that, that material. The and it maps that material it. to it, exactly. So pretty neat way to select uh, and try out different symbols just by going through here and looking at the different symbols that you can add to your projects. There's some really useful things in here. Uh, oh, I really need a pair of scissors to show that we're cutting the budget. <laughs> you know, what, <laughs> what, whatever, whatever it might be, okay? So that's kind of a neat uh, way is to use a character viewer to grab those, okay? So that's, that's option one right. and, and like a variation on it to make it easy to grab. Now here's option two. If you go to Fontbook, Fontbook includes a bunch of uh, symbol-based characters. Like wingdings? Wim, wingdings, webdings, Web zingbats. <laughs> so let's, let's just scroll down. Right. You know, I've got a lot of fonts installed here, but if I go down to the well, W's, I've got... Dude. I'm a fontaholic, yes. Yeah, so we've got some uh, w webdings here. Oh, like cider. Some, we've got uh, webdings, and we've got these wingdings, and then uh, three different kinds of wingdings, and then we have uh, zingbats. Zingbats. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> zap, sorry, zap dingbats. Yeah, there yeah. we go, there we go. 
and all of these can be used as well. What I've done, there's many other, there's built-in fonts that have symbols besides these, and I've downloaded a bunch. So I've actually created a collection of symbol fonts. And you create a collection of font book by clicking there's your this scissors little, right at the top. Yep, so you click this plus button right here to create a collection, and this drag the fonts in. So look, all of these in here are symbol fonts. So just take a look at, I'm just gonna go through them. By, there's you know logos of different companies. So you can take the Facebook logo and make it a and make 3D. it 3D. Absolutely, absolutely. Here's some other logos. You can see I've got a, a huge variety of different symbols that I could create a 3D image out. So maybe I'll take this camera one. I'll double click to select it. Command C to copy it. Go back to Motion. Double click Command V to paste. And at first it looks like it's lost all its formatting, but fear not. If we just will increase its size. And then, if you do copy paste, it turns off 3D. But once you enable 3D again, uh, you're back in business. So there's our cool 3D camera icon. <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty nice, that isn't is it? That's pretty cool. Right? Yes. And, and you know, in font, you know, any font you can download. There's a bunch of free trash ones. Can. There's Look paid ones. Can. Do a trash yeah, can. You want to see the trash can? Yeah, All right. <laughs> once you see one, yeah, it gets kind of addictive. Yeah, it does so, get kind of addictive. Um, so I'll select that, paste that in, escape, make it big in the format tab. And then uh, I wish it came with the sound effects yeah. what you're using. Yeah, yeah and now, there, there, there is our is, 3D trash can. That is so awesome. <laughs> All right, that's pretty fun. It is. So here's a third way that you can use symbol fonts. What you want to do is go to this site called ionicons.com, and this is an open source framework for symbols, and it's got a huge number of symbols that you can use and make them 3D in motion. So you go to the site, you click download. I think I bought something from these guys before. Well, there's nothing to buy. It's totally free and open source. You go to download, and when you download it, you get a whole bunch of stuff, okay? And this is made for uh, using symbols for UI elements, but we don't care about any of that. All we care <laughs> about are two things in here. The uh, Onicons font, so the Onicons.ttf file, you double click that and install the font and font book. Just double clicking, it will install it automatically. And this thing called the cheat sheet. When you um, launch the cheat sheet, uh, it comes to another web page, and here we have 733 icons, okay? And they can all be presumably turned into 3D objects. They can. <laughs> and, the, and the cool thing about having them is in the cheat sheet, of course, you, you could launch font book and look through the this icons. This is faster. But this lets you do something interesting. One thing, it lets you search. So if I say Command F and search for a wrench, okay, there are some wrenches. So how do you use this? There's a whole bunch of different sizes. You don't care about that. What you care about this is things that says selectable. So I'm going to double click on the little thing that says selectable, that tiny little icon to select it. I'm going to hit Command C to copy, and then I'm going to go over to motion. And here, the first thing I'm going to do before I paste it is I'm going to switch my font to Ionicons, okay? Now, instead of scrolling through all these fonts to try to find the Ionicons font, I went ahead and placed my Ionicons into this symbol fonts collection that we looked at earlier. I made my own collection of symbol fonts, and it's a much shorter list. So now I can go there and choose Ionicons, and that's what that trash can happened to be, a little Vimeo symbol. Right. So by the way, if you want to have a little animated Facebook or Google or Vimeo or Apple or whatever, those are all available. I'll double click that Command V to paste, oh. and now right away, <laughs> you got a wrench. I have this, I have this very cool wrench that is uh, you know, fully 3D. Wow. And has that's that so particular cool. style I applied to wow. it. Wow. You know, and you can see all the reflections and everything. So <laughs> all amazing. of these, let me, let me go back over here. You can see there's, there's an Xbox, um, you know, 733 icons. So it's a huge collection of really interesting icons that you can use to make 3D in motion. So now you're armed with the knowledge of how to turn any symbol into this yeah. gorgeous 3D text object. Right? Exactly. So it's, it's a lot of fun, and uh, take Mark's advice, play with those. I've, you'll spend hours uh, messing around with that. And by the way, this arms. works in Final Cut as well. This, is, this works in Final Cut or, mo or Motion, it doesn't matter. All right, then why'd you show it in Motion? Because I love Motion. Okay, there you go. <laughs> and speaking of Motion, you want to check out his new training because he covers this and way more in his 3D titles uh, uh, Motion Training. And check us out on Facebook and uh, follow us on Twitter, and please continue watching our MacBreak Studio episodes. We have a lot of fun, and we uh, give us feedback. We love it. So thanks for, thanks for watching again.